Passersby Female Support Author, He Li Ruan Chu has been in the world of infinite streaming for nearly 10 years, and his biggest dream is to live well. According to the plot, she is a low end sea king, she will be slapped in the face by the straightforward and lovely heroine in variety shows, she will fail miserably in the love shura field, and then be rejected by all the guests, and finally by the company's huge liquidated damages and black fans forced him to commit suicide by jumping off the building. Ruan Chu? The Shura field is really scary, isn't it good to live as a passerby? Asterisk Please Fall in Love with Me is a love challenge variety show that gathers top movie stars, popular little flowers, black actors, men's group appearances. Celebrities need to fall in love freely in special scenes and the show also adds a elimination link. The audience is waiting for the sweet CP and the jokes of Ruan Chu. But who can tell them why there is a murder case slash palace fight slash escape room, ah? Uh? Audience, am I really watching a love variety show instead of a survival variety show? And why is Ruan Chu so handsome? The other guests looked at her so ambiguous. Their interaction is so sweet, I will eat it first. The popular actor Shui Wu was forced by his manager to participate in a love variety show. He scoffed at the statement that love can heal oneself, and felt that no one in the world could cure his anorexia and misanthropy. Until Ruan Chu reached out to him and seriously said that he wanted to save him. Ruan Chu at the beginning, Shura Field has nothing to do with me, passersby will never overturn. Later Ruan Chu, why are you all looking for me? Hey. I'm not showing mercy, I'm just saving you. I'm really not a sea king. Shui Wu, Ruan Ruan is just to save me, save you all by the way. Others? So shameless, Ruan Ruan clearly belongs to everyone. Lost your brain, reap the happiness the brain was stolen by the zombies in the infinite flow world, and the author who cannot write a high evil plot said so. Content Tags Entertainment Women Wearing Shu Shuangwen Search Keywords, Protagonist, Ruan Chu, Shui Wu Supporting Role, Others, One Sentence Introduction, Passersby in Shura Field Will Never Roll Over Intention, Cherish Life. Ruan Chu Cleared the Level. She has been in the infinite flow world for nearly 10 years, forced to fight with ghosts and spirits, she is either running for her life or preparing for her life every day brushing shoulders with death countless times in the past, I met people who wanted to pull her back, and I also received help from kind-hearted people. And now, she's finally cleared. Ruan Chu opened the door in front of her without hesitation, ready to welcome her new life. The next second, her eyes went black. Asterisk Ruan Chu, I warn you, stop pretending to be a virtuous woman. As long as you are willing to have a drink with Mr. Wong, Mr. Wong will promise to help you clarify those black materials and whitewash you. Don't be ignorant, I'm your agent, will I still harm you? The chubby man was sweating, staring viciously at the girl in front of him, forcing her to seize the opportunity to please President Wong. The girl in front of him was pale at this time, and lowered her head slightly in fear, not daring to look at him. Yang Cheng knows that Ruan Chu's appearance can be called amazing even in the entertainment circle with countless beauties, but it is such a face as beautiful as peach and plum, its owner is a muddy the temper that can't support the wall is not only cowardly but also a good person. I don't know which boss she made unhappy. In the past six months, black materials have hit her one after another, and she has been turned from a barely third-tier actor to an eighteenth-tier actor. Stupid. The only heat now is still given by black material. Pop. Ruan Chu silently retracted his hand and said sincerely, I'm sorry, I didn't know you were so weak. Change it to the monster in the infinite flow dungeon, and she won't lose blood if she hits like this. Yang Cheng. Ruan Chu didn't notice the twisted look on Yang Cheng's face, she was a little dizzy now. If he hadn't remembered that he had come out of the infinite stream world, Ruan Chu would have knocked out this man who was a threat to him to prevent him from attacking him again. Yang Cheng, who did not know that he had escaped, began to curse, Ruan Chu went in from his left ear and went out of his right ear, and began to sort out the plot. The Gold Master Toasts
After she was taken advantage of by the sponsor, she finally got rid of some of the black material and successfully participated in a popular love variety show, which is the main line variety show in the book, and was ready to turn over completely. He failed miserably in the love shura field, and then was rejected by all the guests, making it impossible for him to move in the entertainment circle. The previous cooperative brands have requested to terminate the contract. She lost a lot of money for this, which caused a negative impact on the company and lost a lot of money, violating the original contract. In the end, she was forced by the company's huge liquidated damages and black fans to commit suicide by jumping off the building. Ruan Chiu? She watched the plot again and determined that her final ending was suicide. This dog thing of the infinite streaming system is really not at ease, and I don't want her to live safely. Seeing Ruan Chu standing still and being scolded obediently, Yang Cheng thought she had learned to be obedient, softened his tone, and said to her with a threat, You also know how complicated this circle is, don't how can you get ahead with a little external force? It's just a toast, and you can get a lot of benefits, but if you don't go, you won't be able to get along in the entertainment industry. Then don't mix. Ruan Chu said. Ruan Chu repeated. I said, I want to quit the circle. She just habitually followed the rules of the infinite flow world and carefully confirmed the triggering conditions for death. The main condition is to participate in the love drama. This is the main storyline. As long as you avoid it, you can basically change the ending of death, the minor condition is that he can't recognize his female supporting position, and insists on robbing a man from the female lead. He has no money to pay liquidated damages, and borrows money to run into walls everywhere, being abused, followed, and attacked by black fans. The last straw that broke her was the video of her toasting the gold master. She had a bad reputation and she became stinky, and even the last few fans left. She walked up the tall building in despair and jumped down. Ruan Chu is very sure that with her strong psychological quality, it is absolutely impossible to jump off the building, but in order to ensure her own safety to the greatest extent, she decided to avoid these plots. So she quits the circle directly, does not participate in the romance, and does not go to toast, the risk of death will be greatly reduced. Ruan Chu made up his mind to live well, so he cherished this hard-won opportunity to be reborn, and his attitude was very firm, anyway. My contract period is only a few months, and I will not renew it. Already. Yang Cheng glared at her, unable to believe that Ruan Chu, who was usually submissive, would say such a thing. If I have nothing to do, I'll go first. After Ruan Chu finished speaking, he turned and left. Yang Cheng still glared at her, until Ruan Chu's figure was about to disappear at the end of the corridor, then he used all his strength to roar you will regret it. After shouting this, Yang Cheng Cheng turned gloomy and walked towards the exit of the corridor opposite to Ruan Chu's advance. When Ruan Chu heard Yang Cheng's words, he ran away from him without looking back. She will never regret it. Because nothing is more important than being alive. Ruan Chu's footsteps were so soft that they were barely audible. This was a skill she honed in the infinite stream world, and she could well avoid monsters. So when she came to the corner, the person leaning against the wall obviously failed to react. Actually, with the amazing perception ability that Ruan Chu had also practiced in the infinite stream world, not long after she crossed over, she noticed that someone had stopped not far away. Although I don't know why the other party didn't leave, but chose to stay where they were and listen to their conversation, Ruan Chu didn't think the other party would pose any threat to him so he continued to walk forward without looking sideways. Shui Wu was stunned for a moment. He thought the agent was too annoying just now, so he went out of the private room to come over to breathe, but he didn't expect to hit the unspoken scene. He originally wanted to leave, but he didn't want to go back to face the nagging of the agent, so he simply leaned against the wall, preparing to wait until they all left before going by himself. Hearing the girl said that he was going to quit the circle, Shui Wu raised his head and smiled silently. He has seen too many people who say they want to quit the circle, 
but can't give up the money and fame in the entertainment industry. Her arms can't twist her thighs, and even if the girl really wants to leave, her company will definitely hit her hard before the contract ends, asking her to participate in some programs that are completely insulting, or to pave the way for the younger generation. Can she bear it? Shui Wu was thinking, and suddenly a big living person appeared in front of him. He glanced at the other party subconsciously, and was stunned for a second, inexplicably feeling that she was familiar, as if he had seen her somewhere. But what does it have to do with him? Shui Wu lowered his eyes and took a step forward, passing the other side. But he forgot that he hadn't eaten for almost two days. He got up too quickly, and the symptoms of hypoglycemia were sudden. As soon as his eyes darkened, he was about to fall forward. A pair of hands supported him firmly. Ruan Chu helped the person up and stood upright, and then said to him with a complicated expression, Young man, your body is so weak, strange. She habitually wanted to say you can't run away when the monster comes, but she quickly realized that she was no longer in the infinite stream world, so she silently swallowed the second half of the sentence, and let go open the opponent's arm. Because he became famous at a young age, Shui Wu, who has long been a top actor, was called false face to face for the first time, and the other party obviously did not recognize who he was. He suddenly wanted to laugh a little, and for the first time seriously took off the mask of disguise to a stranger, and said his thoughts in a joking tone, Thank you for helping me, but I don't want to live anymore. After saying this, he saw that the, the opposite side looked like a cat with blown fur all over her body, and her originally glamorous face showed something completely inconsistent with her style, like an old the mother looked at her son with the same expression of hating iron as steel, why don't you want to live, don't say such depressing words. Ruan Chu looked up and down the people in front of her, Shui Wu was inexplicably nervous at her serious eyes, and then she heard her say, pale face, cold arms, bloodshot eyes, you sick. Shui Wu couldn't help defending, my face is pale because I haven't eaten and my blood sugar is low, my arms are cold because I just turned on the air conditioner, and my eyes are red because I stayed up late last night, and I'm not sick. Very healthy. After Shui Wu finished speaking, he felt that something was not right. Why would he talk so much to a stranger? The other party is still in the circle. However, Ruan Chu's eyes narrowed, you didn't eat, is it because of lack of appetite and don't want to eat human food? Shui Wu's body tensed for a moment. Although the term food for humans is a bit strange, he can still understand the meaning of the other party's words this girl is asking if he is anorexic. There are only two people who know that he has anorexia, himself, his manager, and even the assistant who has been with him for several years. So. Where did the girl in front of her get the news? He has said enough tonight, no matter whether the person in front of him is intentional or not, he is not ready to accompany him anymore. Shui Wu's expression turned cold, and he was about to lift his feet to leave when he heard the person on the opposite side say to him seriously, I suspect that you are infected with a zombie virus. Shui Wu, Shui Wu, hey. The author has something to say. Shui Wu felt that the person in front of him was not normal. Ruan Chu also felt that the person in front of him was not normal. Shui Wu was thinking, is this a new type of threat routine? But looking at the other person's very serious eyes, Shui Wu even gave birth to a trance, feeling that he might have been infected with the virus. So why was he being led astray by her? Seeing that the man opposite was silent, as if admitting his guess, Ruan Chu took a breath and quietly took a half step back. She knew that the infinite streaming system didn't want her to feel better. Although the infinite streaming system promised to send her to a world without ghosts to live in peace, but this system often concealed important information in the past, hindering them from customs clearance, who knows the world now is there any potential danger it doesn't say. Ruan Chu and Shui Wu looked at each other silently, and their inner activities were very exciting. Finally, Shui Wu said, let's talk in another place. It is very easy to be photographed here, it is safer to talk about it in another place, 
and there is a more important reason is that Shui Wu wants to throw this big trouble to his own agent. He really couldn't understand the other party's brain circuits, as if nothing was right. Ruan Chu also felt that the concealment here was not high, so he agreed to the request of the other party, followed behind Shui Wu, and walked into another private room. Lin Hong, who was eating a lot in the private room, saw Shui Wu coming back, and was about to beckon him to sit down and eat something, and then he saw Ruan who was following behind Shui Wu. Chu, a piece of spare rib got stuck in his throat immediately, causing him to cough violently, and asked Shui Wu shiveringly, She, she, she. The actress Ruan Chu, although he, an industry insider, can see that most of the black material on the other party was deliberately smashed, but this does not mean that he will believe that Ruan Chu is completely clean. Lin Hong finally spit out the bones in his mouth. He said to Shui Wu in horror, Ancestor, what is her relationship with you? Don't be a boyfriend or girlfriend, or he will hit the wall now. Shui Wu answered very honestly, I don't know her. Lin Hong Gang wanted to say that you didn't know her and brought her into the private room, but when he heard Shui Wu's next sentence, his eyes immediately widened. Shui Wu lowered his voice and said in Lin Hong's ear, She seems to know about my anorexia. Lin Hong understands. Ruan Chu came here to ask for benefits and ceiling fees. He rolled his eyes, put on a fake smile, and said to Ruan Chu, who had been standing quietly at the table since entering the door, Miss Ruan, sit down, my name is Lin Hong, yes Shui Wu's agent, let's talk slowly. Ruan Chu sat down and said before the other party opened his mouth, his illness can't be delayed, you must treat him as soon as possible. After a belly, Lin Hong, who was ready to meet the lion's mouth for blackmail. A monster of the human spirit. If it is not controlled well, it will cause great harm to society and make many people sad and desperate. The zombie virus is really terrible, Ruan Chu thought, it will turn people into zombies. Only the desire and instinct to eat, attack and bite other people, if not controlled, within a week, the whole world will become a playground for zombies. At that time, the survivors were in grief for their relatives who turned into zombies. After being besieged by zombies and losing hope of life, they were extremely desperate. Ruan Chu never wanted to experience a second again. Scene After hearing Ruan Chu's words, Lin Hong across the table stayed for a few seconds. He pondered the other party's strange words, and felt that Ruan Chu should mean that if Shui Wu's illness has not been cured, then his body will gradually deteriorate, his will will become increasingly depressed, and finally he will become a kind of skinny, indifferent person. Ghost Look If Shui Wu's condition worsens and dies, he will no longer be able to leave more excellent films for the society and his fans will be extremely sad. Does Ruan Chu care so much about Shui Wu? Ruan Chu saw Lin Hong pondering, he should have listened to his words, nodded with satisfaction, and continued, but this disease is not hopeless, if he can survive, there must be a better and brighter future. Ruan Chu glanced at the man sitting on the other side, this man named Shui Wu, he was obviously still in the early stage of infection and had great potential. After being infected with the zombie virus, there will be two results. The first is to become a zombie, and the second is to become an ability person with some magical abilities. If he is fortunate enough to become a power user, he may not be able to become a hegemon in the future, and the future is very bright. Lin Hong whose brain was about to shut down, thank you, thank you for your blessing. No thanks, Ruan Chu smiled at him, by the way. This is my phone number. If his condition is really bad, you can call me for help. And she didn't say the last sentence, she can help Shui Wu walk easier and less painful. Lin Hong mechanically looked at the inexplicably added phone number on his mobile phone, and fell into deep doubt. So why did things turn out like this? Ruan Chu, who consciously explained everything, stood up and was about to leave when he heard Lin Hong shouting, Wait! Lin Hong finally remembered the purpose of his conversation with Ruan Chu, and resumed his usual calm appearance as an agent, and asked her, What do we need to give you, 
you won't tell about Shui Wu's illness. Ruan Chu was stunned for a moment, then said, Ah, you don't have to give me anything. No, Lin Hong is firm, he knows that free is the most expensive, so he must be at ease if Ruan Chu wants something, tell me, as long as we can give it give. Do you need resources? Lin Hong quickly looked for the resources he could give Ruan Chu in his mind, there is a travel variety show. No need, said Ruan Chu, I will quit the entertainment industry soon, I don't want these things. Lin Hong paused, then asked, then what do you want? If you want to help her clean up the black material, although it is difficult, it can be done. The other party's attitude to stuff her with something was too firm. Ruan Chu knew that he could not refuse, so he thought about it seriously, and then said, Can you help me replace the current agent? I, I don't like him very much. Ruan Chu intuited that Yang Cheng would not make her better for the remaining three months of the contract. Lin Hong breathed a sigh of relief after hearing Ruan Chu's request, and said cheerfully, OK, we can do it, we will help you replace it within a week. Ruan Chu smiled at him again. Thank you. Lin Hong was caught off guard by Ruan Chu's smile, and he sighed inwardly for such a good looking person, why has he never made his mark in the entertainment industry, and now he is still blackened completely, if Ruan Chu Chu is his artist. Lin Hong was shocked and immediately threw the idea out of his mind. Shui Wu alone is enough for him to have a headache, and he doesn't want to come again. If you break the contract, we also have the means to make you pay the price. No, Ruan Chu shook his head and said, but I hope that if Shui Wu is abnormal, you can tell me in time. She'll fix everything before it gets worse. Lin Hong hesitated for a moment, then nodded. Ruan Chu looked at Shui Wu, smiled at him, and said to him with what she thought was the most sincere blessing, I hope you live well and don't give up any hope of life. Shui Wu was a little stunned. After finishing speaking, Ruan Chu turned to open the door and left the private room. Messy Lin Hong. He was taken aback by Ruan Chu's performance and attitude, he turned his head slowly, and asked Shui Wu suspiciously, why do I think she might be your fan, or the kind of true fan? The whole crowd watched Shui Wu, who was talking about chickens and ducks. Shui Wu lowered his eyes, maybe. Asterisk Lin Hong's efficiency is very high, within three days, Ruan Chu changed a manager. Her new manager is said to be a relative of Lin Hong, and Ruan Chu calls him Sister Lin. When it was first replaced, Yang Cheng also called to scold Ruan Chu. After being blocked by Ruan Chu, he changed several numbers and took turns to scold. Sister Lin frowned when she found out. Wrinkled he immediately went to the company to warn Yang Cheng. Yang Cheng immediately cowered after knowing that Ruan Chu's new manager was Sister Lin. He couldn't provoke someone a few levels higher than himself, so he could only bear it. No longer dare to harass Ruan Chu. Actually, Ruan Chu was not as annoyed as Yang Cheng and Sister Lin imagined. She felt that Yang Cheng's method was much gentler than the female ghost who crawled out of the phone and attacked her. Just turn off the phone to mute, and it won't affect her sleep. In the past few days lying at home, Ruan Chu also learned a lot of knowledge about this world from the internet. There has never been a zombie virus here, and some of the photos that can be found are also photographed. Movies or novels? She also knew that her account balance was only more than 2,000, and the money she earned from her debut a few years ago was used to pay off the debt owed by her deceased parents. To any announcement, naturally there is no money. Ruan Chu did not consider selling the house she was living in, but instead found a job online that she could do after quitting the circle. During this period, she also learned that the person that night was the same person as the top actor Shui Wu, and she could get his latest news from different channels almost every day. Also relieved a lot. But everyone said that his image of a humble, courteous, Caring and warm man was far from the image she had in her impression of being a little cold and not talking as long as he was alone. However, Ruan Chu is no longer in the mood to care about these details. Just now, she got a shocking news from Sister Lin the Love Variety Show in the main storyline, 
she must be on. I can't afford it. She also needs to compensate the company for huge liquidated damages. After weighing the pros and cons, Ruan Chu decided to participate in this variety show. The night before going to the recording site, Ruan Chu looked at the danger avoidance plan he made and nodded with satisfaction. The first item marked in red above is Please fall in love with me was a hit before it aired. Under the background of daring to invite amateurs, this variety show actually brings together top-notch movie stars, popular little flowers, black actors, and male group appearances. The number of fans of these people can exceed the population of the beautiful country, whether it is red or black, everyone's discussion is not low. The director also knew that if they really wanted these stars to fall in love, their fans would have to tear him apart, so he announced in advance that the rules of please fall in love with me were different from those of previous love dramas. In this love drama, the program team will set up many special scenes, and also equipped with many group performances, and each star needs to draw lots in this scene to obtain a new identity, and then go into free love. The variety show also added a elimination link for the death of the star's role. Within a week after the live broadcast of each episode, the most popular couple will be rewarded. The program team has already stated on the official Weibo that the prize for this episode is the spokesperson advertisement of the V family, and there is also a cooperation opportunity for a big director. After reading the rules, netizens understand. The director is telling you plainly that these stars are not here to fall in love, they are here for business. In the face of the internet it's better to film directly, is this worthy of being called Lien Zong, the dog show group doesn't understand love at all, I don't watch any rubbish and so on speaking of remarks, the director in chief was as still as a mountain, looking at the increasing popularity and smiling slightly, feeling faintly complacent in his heart, knowing that these people will be really fragrant in a short time. It's all gone, audiences and fans only need to drink CP, stars only need to make money from business, and the show team only needs to gain popularity and praise, and the world where no one gets hurt is complete. Who says he doesn't understand love, love, isn't that the case? The chief director consciously grasped the true meaning of love, turned his head and said to the assistant director, add the suspense elements we prepared earlier to give them a drawbridge effect, note one let's save a hero may, isn't this heart pounding feeling coming out, who dares to say it's not sweet? Looking at the chief director who made his debut in thriller films, the assistant director fell silent. Are you sure, what you think is sweet is the same as what people think is sweet? On the day of the variety show recording, the chief director asked the show crew to turn on the live camera early, and a luxurious medieval-style manner appeared in the lens. Densely covered the screen. The fans who cheered on their idols are still trying to swipe the screen and passers-by said they were surprised by the generosity of the show team. But the harmonious situation did not last long. A large barrage of Ruan Chu get out of the entertainment circle suddenly appeared on the screen. Passers-by were too frightened by their fierce language to speak, and quietly began to eat melons. The chief director said that it was the first time he had seen an actress who was so miserable, and the barrage was full of scolding and even some people who didn't know her before began to hate her, doesn't she even have a fan to speak for her? Ruan Chu, who is at the center of public opinion, is still on his way. She also saw that there were suddenly more comments scolding her on the internet, which was more serious than she thought. Being attacked by black fans is also one of the conditions that triggers death. After thinking for a minute, Ruan Chu chose a Weibo that scolded her with the most likes, and then forwarded it with the text, it's all fake. Black fans have become accustomed to Ruan Chu's silence for the past six months, and they were refuted unexpectedly. They were all stunned for a while, and then frantically rushed to Ruan Chu's new Weibo, starting a new round of abuse. Ruan Chu, it seems to have a counterproductive effect? Sister Lin frowned fiercely. After getting along for half a month, she was absolutely sure that Ruan Chu was definitely not the kind of person mentioned in the black material. Different from the incompetent Yang Cheng, Sister Lin knew at a glance who Hei Ruan Chu was Cheng Tianya, a popular first T-line actress. 
Sister Lin's time in the industry is not short, and she knows how popular Cheng Tianya is. Cheng Tianya married the Qin family's crown prince as soon as she debuted. The other party did not want to marry her. The two were indeed in love. In addition, Cheng Tianya's appearance and acting skills were not bad. She was able to catch the resources given to her by the Qin family's crown prince, and she became popular. Very quickly. The beginning of the grievance between Ruan Chu and Cheng Tianya was that Ruan Chu accidentally picked up the room card dropped by the Qin family prince. The hat quickly buckled over her head. Although Ruan Chu has clarified, the Qin family prince obviously thinks that a little star is not worthy of his attention, and has not responded. At this time, Cheng Tianya faced the reporter's question, smiled gracefully and said, I believe in my husband, this kind of low-level temptation is useless to him. In addition, the hotel suddenly said that the surveillance had been deleted. Ruan Chu's mistress the identity is fixed on the body. A popular first T-line backed by capital, a reluctant third line without any background, fools know who should not offend. So there were more and more people in Hei Ruan Kaiu, and anyone could step on her, while Cheng Tianya was hugged by fans and passers-by. Sister Lin gets angry when she thinks about this. The Qin family's crown prince really treats himself as a prince. How hard is it to open your mouth? The hotel surveillance was deleted so coincidentally. Cheng Tianya knows the truth by looking at two more photos taken by the paparazzi, she is deliberately blackening Ruan Chu. Sister Lin lightly patted Ruan Chu on the shoulder and told her seriously, Ruan Ruan, I will definitely find a way to give you a clean slate before you quit the circle. Ruan Chu blinked, thank you, Sister Linear. Sister Lin smiled and touched Ruan Chu's face, she thought Ruan Chu was much prettier than Cheng Tianya. Thinking of what kind of blood and blood will be caused by the selection of this time, Sister Lin's smile became lighter, and she said to Ruan Chu worriedly, Ruan Ruan, among the guests invited for this show, there is Cheng Tianya's friend Bai Jin Yeo, she it may embarrass you, you must be careful. Ruan Chu blinked again, okay. Bai Jin Yeo is the heroine of this world. Ruan Chu has seen the list of Lian's own guests, but there is only one difference from the plot given by the system. Shui Wu also came. In the plot of the original book, it was another veteran actor who came to participate in this variety show, not the current top actor Shui Wu. It stands to reason that Shui Wu does not need to participate in this variety show to gain the topic and popularity, and he does not like the rewards given by the show team. Although Ruan Chu does not know why Shui Wu came, but it didn't stop her from being happy. Because of the arrival of Shui Wu, the plot of the original book will inevitably be shifted and the risk of her death will be greatly reduced, goodness. And Shui Wu hasn't turned into a zombie for so long, he can definitely live well. Seeing that Ruan Chu was not nervous, and was a little happy, Sister Lin didn't want to ruin her good mood, and silently swallowed the rest of the words. Among the six guests of this variety show, Ruan Chu has the lowest celebrity status and the most black material, and is likely to be embarrassed by the show team and deliberately use her to create a hot spot for the show. The only thing that can comfort Sister Lin is the camera problem. Since it is a live broadcast, there will be no problem of random editing, and each guest has their own split screen. She doesn't have to worry about Ruan Chu's absence. Lens. They have arrived at the variety show recording site, Ruan Chu finally waved goodbye to Sister Lin and left with the show crew. The cameraman followed Ruan Chu and almost put the camera on her face, but he couldn't find any flaws. Ruan Chu was the first to come to the scene. As soon as her split screen was turned on, a large number of people poured in. Many people wanted to quit when they saw her, but they were attracted by her beauty. The ghostly stopped the action. Ruan Chu is too good looking, there are no pores in such a close lens. There are so many people that she really doesn't need to seduce people. Fans don't wash, don't wash, Ruan Chu's Iosin has been hammered for a long time, don't believe it. The chief director saw that Ruan Chu alone brought so much traffic, and nodded with satisfaction, 
feeling that he really did not choose the wrong person. The second person to arrive is Bai Jin Yeo, she is a popular little flower, starring in a TV series that is on the air, as soon as she appears in the camera, her fans immediately occupied the screen. Ye Yeo Stickers Hard Work Baby Looking forward to Ye Yeo's new variety show, Baby Must Choose a Good Boyfriend. Although the content of the barrage cannot be seen, Bai Jin Yeo raised a smile and greeted the camera and the audience, Hello everyone, I'm here to participate in the variety show. The barrage suddenly became excited, Ye Yeo look behind you, Shui Yingdi is behind you. Shui Wu also saw Bai Jin Yeo standing in front of him, he wanted to take a detour, but the other party had turned around and shouted in surprise, Senior Shui. Shui Wu habitually put on a fake smile and nodded to her, Hello. After the identity, the smile on Shui Wu's face slowly disappeared. He and Lin Hong had already agreed that they would only participate in one episode, but now he suddenly felt that he might not be able to stick to one episode. Lin Hong said that falling in love can heal people's hearts, but he doesn't believe that anyone can cure his disease at all. Since the mobile phones of the guests have been handed in and the barrage cannot be seen, Shui Wu did not know that during the period of his journey with Bai Jin Yeo, their CP fans were already happy like like New Year's. She is making trouble, he is laughing, so sweet. I take back what I said before, this show is really fragrant. Has no one noticed that Shui Yingdi is actually very irritable? He's been rubbing his index finger knuckles with his thumb. The evaluation of the last barrage was too sharp, and it also involved the popular Xia Hua and the top actor, and was quickly put on the tail of the hot search. Bai Jin Yeo's fans calmed down in an organized manner. They couldn't fight against Shui Wu's group of super combat fans, so they could only quietly suppress the hot search and inform all members of the fan group, don't get involved with Shui Yingdi for the time being when you are playing CP, so as not to harass Ye Yeo. This incident also sounded the alarm for the big fans of the remaining guests, although they did have the intention of catching the enthusiasm of Shui Yingdi, after all Shui Wu has been filming for many years, and has never had a real the on-screen couple, if their idols can succeed with Shui Wu's CP, the benefits will not be the slightest bit. But Shui Wu's fans are not vegetarians, and anyone who comes over to take advantage of them will be mercilessly killed by them. The chief director who was watching all this was going crazy. Wonderful, wonderful, only half of the guests have come, the variety show has been so lively on the internet before it started, he can already imagine that after the six guests gather together to start a relationship, they will what a powerful Shura field has been produced. The author has something to say, if he happens to meet another person at this time, he will mistakenly interpret the rapid heartbeat caused by this situation as a physiological reaction caused by the other person's heartbeat, so he will develop a feeling of love for the other person. Source Beidou Encyclopedia The habit of escaping for the past 10 years cannot be changed overnight. As soon as Ruan Chu entered the shooting scene, he subconsciously examined the manor. The residence of the manor is medieval European style. The main building has three floors. There is a beautiful fountain in front of the building. The surrounding greenery is very good and the plants are well trimmed. The manor's exterior looks a bit old, with a slightly darker color scheme, but that doesn't detract from its luxury. Ruan Chu inevitably remembered the vampire copy she had experienced in the world of Infinite Flow before. At that time, she was fighting with vampires in such an ancient castle, waiting until dawn, fearful the light vampire just disappeared. Ruan Chu, please draw your identity this time. Hearing the staff's words, Ruan Chu returned to his senses, reached into the cardboard box in front of him, took out one of the small paper balls, unfolded the paper ball, and saw his new identity this time. Manor masters made the black fans in the barrage immediately began to ridicule, Ruan Chu is only worthy of this kind of identity. The identity of Ruan Chu always feels like there is an inside story. When the chief director saw this barrage, he felt guilty for a moment. The identity of a maid was indeed deliberately arranged by him to Ruan Chu, who made her the lowest in the coffee industry, the entertainment industry is so cruel, there is no way, 
she can only be a match for others. He observed Ruan Chu's expression in the camera, as long as she showed a little bit of resentment, she could add a little more heat to this topic. But to his surprise, the corner of Ruan Chu's mouth rose slightly in the camera, obviously in a good mood, and his eyes were full of smiles. The chief director is confused. The barrage is also confused. Ruan Chu is in a really good mood. Although in the original plot, Ruan Chu was drawn as a maid, but Ruan Chu in the original book only wanted to be a fan, missed a lot of plots, and was eliminated early. Ruan Chu doesn't think there is anything wrong with the identity of a maid. Compared with other people's identities, her identity is simply tailor-made for marginal passers-by, as long as she acts conscientiously as a maid, it will definitely not have anything to do with love, absolutely safe and sound. The staff's eyes couldn't be separated from Ruan Chu's face. Whose plastic surgery hospital can make Ruan Chu look like this, can she sign up now? After Ruan Chu laughed, the staff seemed to see Cupid in the air shooting an arrow at her heart, and they couldn't help softening a bit towards Ruan Chu's tone, please note that the character you play has the risk of death, and once the character played by the guest die, he will be eliminated from the game. Wait, what death, isn't this a love variety show? Did I hear it wrong? How can there be death? No wonder this variety show is so unconventional and looks so strange, it turns out that the chief director is abnormal. No, don't you really think that there is a problem with a relationship that has a death link? I know it's fake, but it's outrageous. The guests are now with brand new identities, the medieval manor and the maid have come out, and it seems not surprising that after the death of the guests, there is a personal ghost sadomasochism. As soon as the staff finished talking about the death elimination rule, they saw Ruan Chu, who looked weak and harmless in front of him, suddenly stared like a kitten with blown fur all over his body. He closed his eyes and emphasized to her, I will definitely work hard not to die, not to be eliminated. Even if she dies in variety shows, she must live well. Ruan Chu decided that she will definitely follow the main line of love from now on, but she must find out the real murderer who killed her in the variety show. The staff didn't expect that she would care about this, and she was so serious. It stands to reason that she shouldn't be more concerned about the popularity of her CP. The staff thought so and said to Ruan Chu, OK, come on. The black fans on the barrage seized the opportunity and started to work again. Hee <laughs> hee, you are definitely the first to die. For a while, it was unclear which death the black fan upstairs was talking about. After taking it, can't the black fans stop? Talking is too vicious. The staff handed Ruan Chu the maid outfit she was going to wear next in this episode, and motioned her to go upstairs and put it on in her room. At this time, Ruan Kaiho Ki officially entered the residence. The staff led the way, Ruan Chu followed the other party into the house, and looked at the internal structure again. The first floor is the living room, and the dining room is located in two different areas. The kitchen is at the back, and the flower room is on the left. The second floor is a variety of rooms specially prepared for guests, and the third floor is the room of the manor owner. Because Ruan Chu was the exclusive maid of the manor owner, her room was not arranged on the wet first floor, but had a small room of her own on the third floor. The barrage also followed the cameraman's camera to tour the interior of the house and praised the show team for their generosity. Ruan Chu entered his room with the maid's clothes, but the cameraman did not follow up, because there were two cameras in the room. Ruan Chu glanced at the location of the camera, then turned to observe the furnishings of this small room. There is only a small bed, a small table and a wardrobe in the small room, and there are no extra chairs. It is very shabby and contrasts sharply with the luxurious interior of the house. The black fans on the barrage attacked Ruan Chu again, saying that she was only fit for this kind of room, and everyone else was annoyed by the black fans. Screen, others left Ruan Chu's live split screen one after another to go to see the best actor and the popular floret. Ruan Chu turned around and opened the bathroom door after reading the room. According to the regulations, no camera will be installed in a private place like the bathroom, 
but Ruan Chu was used to being cautious, so he checked it again and changed his clothes after confirming that it was safe. While changing clothes again, Ruan Chu's brain was not idle, and he sorted out the identities of the other people who participated in Lian Zong in the plot of the original book this time. If Shui Wu replaced the veteran actor and gained the identity of the manor owner, then the identity of others should not change. According to this line of thinking, the heroine Bai Jin Yeo is still her noble lady, and is also the distant cousin of the manor owner. She came to the manor to borrow it. Another female guest is called Qi Ying Ying, a female singer with a somewhat arrogant personality, good at singing, especially good at high pitch, and her album account is very popular. Her coffee status is no lower than Bai Jin Yeo's. In this episode of the show, her identity is the banquet performer invited by the manor's owner, and she was also operated by the show team behind the scenes. In addition to Shui Wu, there are also two male guests, one is a facade member of a popular men's group, who is exquisite in appearance and is also the main dancer. He has a large number of fans, called Ye Yu, with an easy-going personality. In the first episode of the show, he was the manor housekeeper. The last male guest is a rap singer named Zhang Yan, who is a bit naive. He used to have a band, but later he went solo and signed with the current agency. Since there are not many fans, coffee there are not enough seats, so his status in the manor is only a little better than Ruan Chu, who is a cook. Because the system gave Ruan Chu a text version of the plot, and only the plot seen from the perspective of the female supporting role, Ruan Chu in the original book plot was eliminated again and again very early, so now Ruan Chu has no idea who the murderer in this episode is, only that he was eliminated in his sleep. Ruan Chu frowned in distress. She hadn't slept once in the world of Infinite Stream. After coming to this world, she finally slept beautifully for half a month. Now she is forced to keep vigil again, to beware of someone harming her during her sleep time. After changing her clothes, Ruan Chu reached out and patted the edge of the maid's skirt and walked out of the bathroom. The moment she raised her head, the scrolling barrage stopped instantly. Ruan Chu in the camera is wearing a black base, a white apron, and a maid outfit with complicated lace trims. Even if the skirt is long to the ankle and the neckline is close to the neck, it still cannot be covered. She has a good figure, with a slender waist that can be held in one hand and her skin is as white as it is glowing. Her hair was tied into a ponytail, and she wore the same black and white white lace trimmed maid hat, which added a little cuteness to her already gorgeous face. On the screen, the audience came back to their senses. Ah, ah, she looks so good, I announce that she is my new wife. More and more I can't understand why Ruan Chu is going to seduce that surname Qin. If not, I have a bold idea no color. That Ruan Chu is his maid, damn, I'm so envious. Put a link here and see for yourself. I don't know how Ruan Chu offended Cheng Mao. Could it be because Cheng Mao was jealous that Ruan Chu looked better than her? Cheng Ti and Ya's fans are going crazy when they see these barrages, but they can't directly attack people on the barrage, Yaya has told them not to pursue this matter, they Yaya so kind and generous, they can't trick Yaya. The staff looked at Ruan Chu, thinking that after the end of this period, they must ask Ruan Chu for a signed photo, and said the theme of this variety show with a smile, Now, please use a new identity, put aside everything in the past, and devote yourself to love. Other guests also arrived at the recording site one after another, took their identities, and changed into clothes that matched their identities. Change this will greatly facilitate Qi Ying Ying and others who are not actors. However, in order to prevent the guests from making behaviors that do not match their identity security and destroying the harmony of the variety show, the chief director ingeniously arranged many group performances to remind the guests that they should do what things will not completely collapse the identity. Other guests have already received hints from the program team, so they are very relaxed. Except Ruan Chu. She did not receive any prompts from the program team, she cautiously maintained her maid status, and was going to go down to the first floor to find some work that she could do, and inquire with the NPC, 
no, and the group performers little news. The camera brother and staff who were behind her have quietly exited, and the next shooting will be completed by all the high-definition cameras in the house, providing guests with an immersive experience environment of. The chief director in the background can see the real-time traffic of each guest on the live split screen. Since other guests appeared, Ruan Chu's split screen traffic has become lower and lower, stay they were all black fans who kept attacking her. The chief director thought about it and directed a group to perform. Upstairs, Ruan Chu walked through the long corridor. There were very textured oil paintings hanging on both sides of the corridor, and the wall lamps were beating slightly. Suddenly, a woman also wearing a maid outfit appeared at the end of the corridor, holding a mop in her hand, and walking towards Ruan Chu aggressively. Ruan Chu subconsciously stopped and was ready to escape at any time. After realizing that the other party was no threat to her, she relaxed her body and heard the other party say to her arrogantly, Ruan Chu, what if you become the master's personal maid? I'm still the head maid here, you still have to listen to me. Now, said the head maid, shoved the mop into Ruan Chu's hand, looked at her contemptuously and said, hurry up and help in the kitchen, there are distinguished guests coming tonight the manor dine with the master, if the guests are not satisfied in the slightest, it is all your fault. Thank you, the sense of substitution is very strong, I have started to get angry. Ruan Chu quickly smashes the mop on her face, can you bear this? Can't smash it. The position of the head maid is still quite high. If Ruan Chu starts now, maybe he will be locked up slash black slash housed. What will happen to the plot after that? With the stimulation of the head maid, the number of viewers of Ruan Chu's live split screen suddenly increased. In the eyes of the audience, Ruan Chu held a mop in his left hand and lifted the middle of his skirt with his right hand. He lifted it gently, bent his legs slightly, made a curtsy then passed the stunned head maid and walked downstairs, ready to go to the kitchen to complete the task. Although he has left the infinite stream world, Ruan Chu is still very sensitive to the tasks issued by people like NPCs, and quietly divided the main line and branches of the tasks of this variety show in his heart. Main quest, stay away from the Shura field, maintain your identity as a passerby, and find the murderer. Side quests, 1. Complete the cooking quest. Having a goal, Ruan Chu was very motivated and went downstairs happily, not knowing that many people in the barrage were amazed by her curtsy. Wow, Ruan Chu's curtsy is so elegant. Coach, I want to learn this too. Although, I still want to say that the program team is too discriminatory. Bai Jin Yeo and the others are all sitting in the living room downstairs chatting and drinking tea, wearing gold and silver but Ruan Chu has to work with a mop. Upstairs I'm afraid I forgot Zhang Yan who was cooking in the kitchen. Why is this maid still in a daze? Are you stunned by Ruan Chu's beauty? The head maid was indeed attacked by Ruan Chu's beauty, but it was not the reason that made her dazed, but Ruan Chu's attitude towards her. The head maid is actually a fan of Cheng Tianya and a black fan of Ruan Chu. After she knew that the identity of the head maid would make Ruan Chu difficult, she worked hard to get this role and wanted to help her idol out. But she heard from the big fans in the fan group that they had seen Ruan Chu on the set. It was said that Ruan Chu had a bad temper and often cursed. So at first, when she was speaking her lines, she was afraid that Ruan Chu would hit her with a mop, but to her surprise, Ruan Chu was not angry at all, and even smiled at her. Hiding your emotions is also a basic skill. In the next link, she will definitely let Ruan Chu reveal her true face, let everyone know what kind of woman she is, and vent their anger. Ruan Chu, who had reached the first floor, did not know the complex psychological activities of the head maid. She found a utility room, put the mop in it, and then walked out of the house and entered the kitchen from the back. Ruan Chu saw four or five maids dressed like her standing outside the kitchen door, thinking that the kitchen was already busy, but as soon as the four or five maids saw her, they all gave up for her on the way. One of them said, You came just in time, go and help the new cook. After saying this, the five of them left. 
My God, Ruan Chu is too miserable, this variety show really makes the guests work. Although I don't like Ruan Chu either, but the director's blatant oppression is too much. There was only Zhang Yan in the kitchen. Seeing him in a hurry, his fans also criticized the director. But the chief director doesn't care about these scoldings at all. It is only when someone scolded that it will become popular. Black and red are also red. Besides, he has been scolded a lot of times. When he was shooting a thriller, the audience who was scared to cry often sent him blades, and he was fine. Different from the normal audience's reaction, Ruan Chu's black fans can be described as gongs and drums, beaming with joy. Hearing the sound of the kitchen door being opened, Zhang Yan turned around and saw Ruan Chu, of course he could recognize this actress who had been hacked online for half a year, and his heart suddenly became even more desperate. Actress, come here and do him a disservice. Zhang Yan asked Ruan Chu with the last glimmer of hope, that, Sister Ruan, can you cook? Ruan Chu debuted a few years earlier than him, and is also half a year older than him, so there is no problem in calling her sister. Ruan Chu shook his head as expected and said, I won't. In the world of infinite stream, being able to eat is a very luxurious thing. They are busy running for their lives every day, wanting to complete the customs clearance and live in the new world, so they have no time at all cooking to fill the stomach is all in a hurry to deal with a meal in the dungeon, and then quickly confront the ghost. Zhang Yan slumped visibly. At this moment, the head butler pushed open the kitchen door, frowned and said to the two of them, You two, hurry up, the guests have been waiting for a long time, I'll give you another half an hour, if you still can't cook dinner. You two don't do it. Seeing the head butler leave, Zhang Yan was so anxious that he almost cried. His fans followed him and worried about him, while Ruan Chu's audience watching her split screen only wanted to see her jokes. Fortunately, the ingredients here are all Chinese. Zhang Yan gritted his teeth and decided to make his best stir-fry. The cooking speed is fast and takes no time. He should be able to make four or five dishes in half an hour. He didn't expect Ruan Chu to help at all, but Ruan Chu came up and asked him, Do you need me to help cut vegetables? Zhang Yan thought that he should be a dead horse and a living horse doctor. He nodded to Ruan Chu and said, Thank you, Sister Ruan, please help me cut all these. After Ruan Chu confirmed to Zhang Yan that he wanted to cut the potatoes into shreds, he picked up the kitchen knife next to him, held the potatoes in the other hand, and began to peel the potatoes roughly. Ruan Chu's hands are also good looking, they are so white and the fingers are so long. This posture is very dangerous, don't cut such a beautiful hand. Zhang Yan, who was next to her, knew it was going to be bad when she saw her posture. He was about to step forward to correct Ruan Chu's movements when he saw the sharp kitchen knife in Ruan Chu's hand as if it had no weight. She flexibly adjusted the position of the potato and the direction of the blade of the kitchen knife, and she peeled off a complete, thin potato skin without any breaks in the middle, and threw it into the trash can next to it. Ruan Chu then used the tip of a kitchen knife to pick out the stains in the uneven pits on the surface of the potatoes, tilted his head and asked Zhang Yan, who had widened his eyes, what's wrong? No, it's fine. Zhang Yan said, he continued to stir-fry what was in his hand, and tipped a spoon, but his eyes could not be separated from Ruan Chu's hand on the chopping board. Ruan Chu raised the knife and dropped it, as if she was driving three times the speed, and the speed was so fast that she could not see clearly. She threw it into a small basin to soak for spare. Zhang Yan? Barrage? This is a live broadcast, right? Why do I feel like I'm on double speed? Does it hurt the face of the person who said Ruan Chu was a disservice? Does it hurt? In the kitchen, Ruan Chu immediately picked up the tofu next to him. Seeing that Zhang Yan had no reaction, he mistakenly thought that the tofu was going to be cut into shreds, so he raised the kitchen knife again and peeled off the old skin. Start cutting the tofu. The soft and smooth tofu was very obedient under her hands. She first cut the tofu into thin slices, 
then spread them evenly on the cutting board and began to shred them. The chief director of the backstage also saw Ruan Chu's actions. He quickly asked the shooting team to zoom in and zoom in on the camera in the kitchen, and specially filmed the movements of Ruan Chu's men. The front row reminds everyone watching that you can breathe now. Thank you, kind man, I almost choked to death. Ruan Chu doesn't want to cut Wensi Tofu, right? This thing is a test of knife skills, so don't overturn it. In the shot, every time Ruan Chu slides the blade, a piece of tofu will fall on the cutting board. From the outside, the tofu pieces are still mixed together, but when Ruan Chu uses the kitchen knife to cut the tofu when the silk is put into the water, the tofu silk will slowly spread out in the water. The roots are distinct, as thin as needles and threads, but not one of them is broken. If you look closely, they even have the same length. Zhang Yan? Barrage? Eyes this tofu? It's not a prop, is it? This is a live broadcast, right? There's no post-game, and it's not magic, right? This knife is probably a top chef, right? The audience was shocked and frantically took screenshots, trying to find the slightest flaw in the shredded tofu in the water, but all failed. A lot of people have uploaded these pictures on Weibo, so when the new hot entry number Ruankayu, Wensadu number appeared, many people who didn't know it went in in confusion, and then never came out, I went directly to the love series please fall in love with me. Pure passerby, may I ask if this is a love drama or a food variety show? The split-screen traffic of several other guests was also affected, and many people came to see Ruan Chu. Cheng Tianya's fans are going crazy, disregarding what Cheng Tianya said to them before, they tried to swipe the barrage of Ruan Chu as a junior, but they are getting more and more the barrage of people who entered the live broadcast room was squeezed out. Cheng Tianya's fans, ah ah ah, more angry. In the kitchen, Zhang Yan stared at the shredded tofu in the water, and even his breathing was much lighter. How can he let such a chef cut vegetables for himself? Zhang Yan turned his head and asked Ruan Chu resentfully, Sister, do you really know how to cook? Ruan Chu carved the radish and said, I really can't. Zhang Yan. If you put down the radish carved into a rose in your hand, it may be more convincing. Ruan Chu didn't know Zhang Yan's mental activity at this time, so he favored the kitchen knife in his hand, regretting, it's a pity that the kitchen knife is not sharp enough, otherwise I can cut it more finely. Zhang Yan? Barrage? No? Ruan Chu noticed Zhang Yan's resentful eyes and smiled at him, I really can't cook, but I think people who can cook are amazing. She put down the radish flour in her hand, took a bit of Zhang Yan's fried Tharia collar shrimp with chopsticks and put it into her mouth, narrowed her eyes happily, and gave him a thumbs up, very good eat. Zhang Yan met Ruan Chu's smile, his face instantly turned red, and he stammered, really, really. Ruan Chu nodded and praised himself without hesitation, it's the best food I've ever eaten. Zhang Yan's face turned redder. He turned to look at the pot in front of him, and whispered, then I, I'll cook a few more dishes, Sister Ruan will try it. Is Zhang Yan, the rap singer, so innocent? He blushed so cute woo woo woo. Ha 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 what kind of strange CP is this? Ha 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 ha. Are you all devils? I was a second late, and the super talk has already been built. No one thought that Ruan Chu and Zhang Yan were the first couple CPS to appear in the love drama Please Love Me. And the popularity of the two of them relies more on passers-by, because the live fans on Ruan Chu's side have basically disappeared, and the fans on Zhang Yan's side are a bit disgusted with Ruan Chu, who is dressed in black material. Not a word was spoken. The CPS discussed by passers-by are not Ruan Chu and Zhang Yan themselves, but their current identities in this variety show. The fans of other guests watched the increasing popularity on their side, and not to be outdone, they brushed up the CPS of their idols and other guests. The artist himself will not be besieged by fans of Shui Yingdi's family, killing three birds with one stone. But the fans of the other guests were not happy for a long time, 
because they found that they could not pick out the candy with CP in the same frame, and their idols had almost zero interaction. Several people in the parlor have been sitting for a long time. Since Ye Zingye used the identity of the housekeeper to invite Bai Jin Yeo and Qi Ying Ying into the manor, Shui Wu, who was sitting in the living room, only said one word to them, Welcome. If it wasn't for the head maid who brought the tea over and poured it for a few people, the scene might have been even more embarrassing. During this period, except for Bai Jin Yeo who said a few words to Ye Zingye because he wanted to renew the tea, they didn't have any communication during the whole process. Bai Jin Yeo talked a lot with Shui Wu before the variety show started. Afterwards, she also reacted that her performance seemed a bit inappropriate, afraid that she would make Shui Wu annoyed by talking again, so she held back and did not speak. Because of her arrogant personality, Qi Ying Ying next to her didn't like to talk and didn't open her mouth. Ye Zing Yu, who was standing behind Shui Wu, was not easy to speak because of his status as a housekeeper, while Shui Wu simply did not want to speak because he was annoying. Because there was nothing to watch, the split-screen traffic of several people dropped slightly. It was all supported by fans. Fans who had nothing to say turned to boast about their clothes. Ye Yeo is wearing a really good noble lady. Our Ying Ying figure is so good, I hope Ying Ying can wear a tutu skirt for concerts in the future. Why doesn't Shui Yingdi speak? Compared with fans of other guests, Shui Wu's fans posted significantly fewer barrages. Shui Wu is on a variety show for the first time, and his fans are a little nervous. Although Shui Wu's character in front of the public has always been a modest and gentleman, because he has taken care of actresses who fell from the same crew, he has also been labeled as a warm man, but old fans know that he is actually a very distant person. Those who are very emotional, after hearing that Shui Wu is going to appear on a variety show, they are mixed, but after seeing Shui Wu's indifferent performance, their mood has completely turned into worry. They are not worried that Shui Wu will be hacked, because Shui Wu speaks with his works, his strength is greater than everything, and he is different from other traffic niches. What they are more worried about is that Shui Wu is not happy in this variety show, because Shui Wu's face is not very good every time he appears on the camera. If his health is affected because of his bad mood, then they will really feel distressed. The director also felt that this would not work, so he once again directed the group maid to come to the parlor and quietly told Ye Zingyu, who is now the housekeeper, that lunch was ready. Ye Zingyu put his right hand on his left chest, bent down and said to the people in the living room, Sir, beautiful ladies, lunch is ready, please come with me. The three at the wooden table got up and prepared to follow Ye Zingyu to leave this embarrassing place. Bai Jin Yeo didn't know that when she sat down, her long skirt had already hooked the legs of the wooden table, she stood up unknowingly, and then was overwhelmed by herself the skirt stumbled and fell straight forward. She stretched out her hand in a panic, trying to hold on to the furniture beside her to stabilize her body, but Ye Zingyu had rich stage performance experience and reacted faster than her, and immediately came to Bai Jin Yeo's side with a side slide, holding her firmly, very gentlemanly not touching other parts of Bai Jin Yeo's body, but only holding her arm. Bai Jin Yeo stood firmly with a flushed face, and thanked Ye Zingyu, thank you. Qi Ying Ying, who followed Bai Jin Yeo, quietly rolled her eyes. Xiaowu is so handsome. Innocent noble lady times caring butler, thank you director, I got it. Did no one notice that Qi Ying Ying was quietly rolling her eyes? I laughed so hard, she was so courageous that she dared to do this on the live broadcast. The meaning is interpreted as she also likes the housekeeper, so she is jealous of the noble lady Bai Jin Yeo. Let's not say how the fans on both sides are fighting, everyone in the variety show has already walked to the restaurant and sat down. The head butler returned to the kitchen and found that Zhang Yan and Ruan Chu had already prepared the meal, so he called back the five maids who had just left and asked them to help bring the dishes to the restaurant. Although these dishes look quite appetizing, eating Chinese food in a medieval European manner is really inconsistent, ha 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 it turns out that the discordance of these dishes is really serious. According to the usual practice, 
the chef who made this meal needs to go to the table to accept the owner's comments, so the head servant went back to the kitchen again and brought Zhang Yan to the restaurant. The head servant had already told Zhang Yan the identities of Bai Jinyeo and others on the way, Zhang Yan kept it in his heart, and was ready to go back and tell Ruan Chiu. Can't eat first. After Shui Wu sandwiched some hot and sour shredded potatoes, Bai Jinyeo was the first to stretch out a spoon, scooped a spoonful of his own Wenxi tofu soup, couldn't wait to taste it, and then faced the side Zhang Yan gave a thumbs up, it's delicious, it melts in your mouth. She said to Zhang Yan in surprise, I didn't expect your knife skills to be so good. This is the finest Wenxi tofu I've ever eaten. Zhang Yan hurriedly said, Miss Bai, the tofu was cut by Sister Ruan, and I am only responsible for making it. There is only one guest here surnamed Ruan, and it is self-evident who can be called Sister Ruan by Zhang Yan. Bai Jinyeo's smile froze, and she lowered her head in embarrassment. It's really embarrassing for her to praise her friend's enemy like that. Their food really looks delicious. Zhang Yan, please set a price, how much is it for a day, I will invite you to come to my house to cook. It's not enough to invite Zhang Yan, you also need to invite someone who can have Ruan Chu's sword skills, dog head, Qi Ying Ying sneered, then pointed to the carved radish on the edge of the pasta plate, and asked Zhang Yan, who carved this? Zhang Yan quickly said, it was also carved by Sister Ruan. Although Qi Ying Ying didn't like Bai Jin Yeo, she even looked down on Ruan Chu, who was a junior to others, so she made no secret of her disgust for Ruan Chu, and slapped her face directly, it's ugly. One thing to say, this radish flower is really not ugly. Who does Qi Ying Ying think she is? Can she carve it out, she is too embarrassed to say Ruan Chu? The barrage started to quarrel again. Zhang Yan couldn't help frowning after hearing Qi Ying Ying's words. He was about to say a few words for Ruan Chu when he heard the head sitting on the table. Shui Wu of the location said, I think it looks pretty. Barrage? I heard it right, Emperor Shui actually praised Ruan Chu. Shui Wu at the dining table looked at the radish carved into a rose, and could almost imagine how serious Ruan Chu was carving it. It must be the same as what zombie virus was said at the time. An expression. Shui Wu suddenly wanted to laugh a little, although he didn't know why he felt soft for a second and even spoke for her, but it didn't affect his sudden good mood. Shui Wu skipped the shocked crowd at the table and asked Zhang Yan, who was sluggish, can this radish flower be eaten? Zhang Yan recovered, nodded quickly and said, yes, yes, the radish is steamed. I poured it with sauce. So everyone continued to watch in shock as Shui Wu put this little radish into his mouth. When Qi Ying Ying reacted, her face had become extremely ugly. What Shui Wu did was tantamount to slapping her in the face openly. Could it be because of Ruan Chu, just relying on that mistress? The barrage also raised a question, why did Emperor Shui help Ruan Chu speak? Are they related? I'm pretty sure they're not related, they've never worked together. So Shui Yingdi just thought that radish flowers were beautiful and delicious? Shui Wu's fans sounded the alarm immediately, but they really failed to find out any connection between Shui Wu and Ruan Chu. Lin Hong, who was watching the live broadcast in front of the screen, was stunned. As Shui Wu's manager, he knows Shui Wu's habits best. When he saw Shui Wu eating the radish flower without changing his face and showing a happy expression, he was almost happy jump up. It is really a good choice to let Shui Wu participate in the love series. No matter what Shui Wu says this time, he will let Shui Wu finish the whole season of the show. He believes that this variety show will definitely cure Shui Wu's anorexic. The split-screen traffic on Ruan Chu's side continued to skyrocket, but Ruan Chu herself didn't know it. She was still conscientiously guarding the pot, ready to wait for Zhang Yan to come back, and eat this with him one pot beef stew with potatoes. She thought happily, the side task one, the task of helping the cook was successfully completed. Bai Jin Yeo and Qi Ying Ying had a bit of a taste for this lunch. But eating a meal out of the Shura field is a routine operation. 
Zhang Yan slipped away when the situation was not good, and was ready to go back to the kitchen to eat with Ruan Chu. Ye Xingyu next to him looked at the delicious food and felt a little hungry. He also slipped into the kitchen shortly after Zhang Yan left. When Ruan Chu in the kitchen saw Zhang Yan coming back, he quickly gave up the cooking position and watched Zhang Yan use the remaining ingredients to make a few home-cooked dishes without waste, and then use they took out the beef stew with potatoes in the pot, and brought out the rice that had not been cooked due to the lack of time, but now tasted just right. The two of them found two large pumpkins and sat down, and began to eat at the table where the ingredients were placed. They are delicious, I think they look better here than in the restaurant over there. Ruan Chu is so cute eating, like a hamster. It makes me happy to see her eat. Warning, the food grabbers are here. He was a little embarrassed and was about to leave when he heard Ruan Chu call him, want to eat together. Since Ruan Chu didn't care, Ye Xingyi was relieved a lot, he was relieved, and also imitated Ruan Chu and Zhang Yan, found a winter melon in the kitchen and sat down, he took the rice in his hand and ate it happily. Although the picture of the three of them eating together is very warm, why do I want to laugh so much ha ha ha? There is a sense of sight of a family of three, Ye Xingyu is the son, um. Ruan Chu eats a lot, please be sure to tell me how to eat so much and still maintain such a good figure. I don't see any response from both parties. Although it has been four months since this incident, but at that time Ruan Chu insisted on sticking to the men's group facade Ye Xingyu to fry CP, and Ruan Chu had just carried the title of Junior 3 soon. Everyone scolded her no matter what she did. Although Ye Xingyu came out to explain it in time at the time, it still didn't make Ruan Chu scolded lightly. Now that four months have passed, many people have calmed down. When they look back at the events at that time, they all feel that those netizens are a little unreasonable, and they are all just to follow the trend of Black Ruan Chu and apologize. There are very few people, and many people say that she deserves to be scolded. If you think about it further, is it a coincidence that Ruan Chu picked up the room card of the Qin family prince? Ruan Chu's mentality is really good, those who say she deserves it, try being scolded by so many people and see if you can hold on Cheng Tianya's fans can't understand, and black fans can't understand why Ruan Chu just appeared on this variety show and hasn't even arrived for a day, why are there so many people talking to her? Back in the kitchen, I happened to bump into Ruan Chu and the three who were cleaning the dishes, and immediately raised their chin and said to Ruan Chu, wash these things too. He is short-handed and soft-hearted. After all, Ye Xingyu ate the food made by Zhang Yan and Ruan Chu. It was indeed a bit too much and I was going to help Ruan Chu in the face of this meal. He cleared his throat and said to the head maid as a housekeeper, Ruan Chu and Zhang Yan don't have to do other chores today. They want to prepare a dinner party with me. The head maid didn't expect Ye Xingyu to help Ruan Chu and was stunned for a while, but her status in the manor was not as high as Ye Xingyu's, so she could only bow her head to make way for Ye Xingyu, watching him lead Ruan Chu and Zhang Yan left the kitchen. Can't you drink it? Ye Xingyu took out the program group from his pocket and asked the group show to give him the butler's schedule, and then said to Ruan Chu and Zhang Yan according to the above content, to prepare for the party, you need to move the things in the living room. Empty, then hang candles on the wall, and prepare drinks. There are too many tasks for two people to complete, Ye Xingyu thought for a while, and then called the head servant over, called a few more servants to help and then arranged for Ruan Chu to go to the garden to find a gardener taking the decorative flowers and the task of fetching wine from the wine cellar, he arranged the task of moving things for Zhang Yan, and he acted as a supervisor to supervise their work. Ruan Chu, who received the quest, gave himself two side quests today, second mission, get flowers from the gardener and decorate the living room. Second quest, get the wine from the wine cellar and put it on the table in the living room. There are still several hours before the dinner, so there is plenty of time for tasks. So Ruan Chu went around the house after getting the flowers, familiarized himself with the environment, and finally went to the wine cellar to get wine. Ruan Chu was always a little uneasy in her heart, 
because she remembered that the total length of the shooting was three days and two nights. If the dinner was finished on the first day, what would you do in the next two days? No accident will happen, right? Ranch Yu had already walked out of the house when she was thinking about it. As soon as she looked up, she saw Bai Jinyeo and Chi Ying Ying, who were chasing each other on horses after eating, on another lawn of the manor. No one let anyone, the skirt swayed with the wind, the long hair fluttered, and the picture was very beautiful. Shui Wu was sitting under the shade of a big tree next to him, as if holding a book in his hand, watching quietly. Ruan Chu turned her gaze back to Bai Jinyeo and Chi Ying Ying, she couldn't help thinking that neither of them were wearing riding clothes, it was too dangerous. She had experienced a dungeon before, where the horses were all centaurs, and they could suddenly stand upright, then shake off the person riding on her back and shoot them with arrows. Although she knew that centaurs couldn't exist in this world, Ruan Chu decided to remind them. She took half a step forward when she saw Bai Jinyeo and Chi Ying Ying dismount together and walk towards Shui Wu under the tree. Ruan Chu retracted her feet at the right time, and at the same time put away her heavy memories, then turned to the garden to get the flowers she needed. Her expression and movement just now, from the audience who do not know the truth, is that Ruan Chu is very envious of Bai Jinyeo and Chi Ying Ying who can ride freely and play freely, but because of the identity given by the director team I played with them before, and left in a hurry when the other party dismounted and was about to look over here, not wanting others to see how embarrassed and sad he was. The program team should be an individual. The identities of the guests in this episode are obviously operated behind the scenes. Is the director really embarrassed to say that he has no script? When Ruan Chu left just now, that relieved and somewhat sad expression was really distressing. Maybe she is acting? Isn't she an actress? Seeing that everyone is a little suspicious of the authenticity of the show, the general director of the backstage is not afraid of being scolded, but he can't smash his own signboard, so he decides to give Ruan Chu a little water in the next episode. The door of the flower room was open, but Ruan Chu didn't see anyone, she tried to shout, Is there anyone? Yes, Ruan Chu replied, I'll get the flowers for the banquet. The grandfather gardener nodded to understand then turned to lift the flower pot on the ground next to him. Ruan Chu noticed that his legs were inconvenient and his left leg was a little lame, so he hurried forward to help him, picked up the flower pot with one hand, and asked him, is this what it is? The gardener watched Ruan Chu pick up the flower pot with one hand, which an adult man needs to clasp his hands to lift. He was silent for a moment, then pointed to his right and said, there is another pot there. It needs to be placed on both sides of the living room. Ruan Chu nodded, then picked up another huge flower pot with the other hand, and smiled at the grandpa gardener, thank you. The grandpa gardener was still smiling. When Ruan Chu was about to leave, he suddenly said, little girl, you are very good. After Ruan Chu came out of the conservatory, he subconsciously turned his head and glanced at the lawn and found that Bai Jinyeo and Chi Ying Ying had disappeared, and Shui Wu was the only one under the shade of the tree. Shui Wu looked up from the book and saw Ruan Chu leaving. This feeling is very strange, he obviously has not seen Ruan Chu several times, but he can recognize the other person's back at a glance. Ruan Chu didn't know, after she left, Shui Wu stared at his back for a long time. The camera followed Ruan Chu back to the living room, Ye Xingye saw Ruan Chu carrying two pots of flowers by himself, ready to come and help her. He saw Ruan Chu carrying it so easily, thinking that the flower pot was not heavy, but just as he took the flower pot in Ruan Chu's hand, the flower pot slipped out of his hand and fell on the there was a muffled sound on the ground. Ye Xingye? Barrage? Is this pot so heavy? Ye Xingye stretched out his hand again in disbelief and tried to lift the flower pot but found that he could not lift it with one hand. Ye Xingye glanced at Ruan Chu, who was holding a flower pot with one hand, and fell silent. But if he can't even pick up a pot of flowers, wouldn't it be embarrassing? With this thought in mind, Ye Xingye stretched out his hands and finally picked up the flower pot. 
He held back his strength, his face turned red, and he said to Ruan Chu, Where is it? Ruan Chu pointed to the corner of the living room, about a hundred steps away from where they were. Ye Xingyu's eyes were dark. Ruan Chu saw Ye Xingyu's blushing face and thick neck, and asked him thoughtfully, Why don't I come? Ye Xingyu stubbornly said, No. I can do it. This is his dignity as a man. Finally, Ruan Chu walked to the corner with the flower pot and put it away, and completed his second task, while Ye Xingyu took three steps and took five times the time to successfully deliver the flower pot. Designated place. The barrage mocked ruthlessly, tisk tisk tisk, Ye Xingyu's body is not good. So why is Ruan Chu's CP so strange ha ha ha? When Ruan Chu was helping decorate the living room, Qi Ying Ying and Bai Jin Yeo also walked back from the other side of the lawn and entered the flower room. In the horse race just now, Qi Ying Ying, who has received elite education since childhood, was even better, but Bai Jin Yeo has no intention of feuding with Qi Ying Ying. The other party is the eldest lady of the Qi family. And although Qi Ying Ying is a bit arrogant, her nature is not bad. More importantly, the two of them are now in the same love variety show. If it is ugly now, what will happen to the next few episodes? Bai Jin Yeo then took the initiative to subdue, and took Qi Ying Ying into the flower room, picked a white rose for her, pinned it to her hair, and praised her for her beauty. Qi Ying Ying was pleased by Bai Jin Yeo's attitude, and she took a pink tulip and gave it to Bai Jin Yeo. The two of them did not notice the gardener who was bending over to plant flowers, nor did the audience who had been guarding their live broadcast room, and the gardener just looked up at the two of them and continued to squat working among the flowers, nothing happened. The fans of both sides saw their idols shaking hands and making peace, and the atmosphere was very harmonious, and they stopped arguing and fighting for a while. Flowers match beautiful women, Ye Yeo and Ying Ying look so good. Both fans? They can accept their idols to play with the people they hate, but that doesn't mean they can accept their opponents and their own idol group CP, or such a devilish CP. By the way, what about Ruan Chu? Because this drama is live all day long, and the show is broadcast in the afternoon, the freshness of the audience has passed, and the traffic has dropped slightly. The backstage director saw that so many people were following Ruan Chu and found that Ruan Chu was missing her in the split-screen live broadcast. He frowned and asked the filming team, Where is Ruan Chu? The film crew explained sweatingly, We can't find her, she seems to be hiding from the camera on purpose. The chief director was not sure what Ruan Chu wanted to do, so he quickly directed a group to find her. After receiving the news, the head maid immediately chased in the direction Ruan Chu had left. Half an hour later, the head maid couldn't find anyone and returned to the parlor panting, only to find that Ruan Chu was already standing in the parlor, helping to pose. After Zhang Yan left, dessert made by the new western chef in the kitchen. The head maid came over angrily and asked Ruan Chu, where did you go just now? Just walk around, Ruan Chu replied, I'm going to get wine from the wine cellar now. The head maid was afraid that she would run around again, which made the chief director angry, and said quickly, I'll go with you. Ruan Chu left for 20 minutes, and she disappeared from the camera for 20 minutes. The audience guessed what happened. The director watched one outrageous guess after another. I couldn't help but let the audience tell the truth on the live screen later, but the audience didn't believe it at all. There are so many cameras in the house. Can she hide them all? Obviously your own equipment is faulty. The chief director can't tell, he can only recognize it with his nose. Seeing Ruan Chu returning to the screen, the audience stopped guessing and watched the head maid follow Ruan Chu step by step, walking with her towards the basement. The head maid looked at Ruan Chu, who was walking steadily with a candlestick in front of her, and regretted following him down. Although the director said that the group performance can be played freely, this plot is not in her script, and following Ruan Chu down is purely impulsive. Ruan Chu's footsteps stopped suddenly, and the head maid behind him almost bumped into her and asked her in a low voice, What's wrong? 
Ruan Chu spoke softly and said to her without looking back, There is something. They are about to enter the wine cellar area where the wine barrels are stored, and the lights there also illuminate the stone wall not far ahead of them. It moved forward, as if it was coming towards them. The audience in the barrage was as scared as she was. Although there are cameras installed in the entire passage, the light is too dark, and a dark and terrifying range has been faintly created. Coupled with this huge black shadow, with the response of the head maid, the barrage quickly brushed up. I'm not afraid of barrage. Prosperity, strength, democracy, civilization, harmony, Ruan Chu, run. But at this time Ruan Chu didn't know that the barrage was frantically making her escape. She gave the candlestick in her hand to the head maid and asked her to hold it, and then pointed to the black shadow, indicate for yourself to go take a look first. The head maid quickly grabbed her wrist, not wanting her to leave him and leave, but Ruan Chu firmly pulled out his hand, eased his steps, and continued to walk forward. In the barrage of ah 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 ah, Ruan Chu had turned his body sideways and moved to the corner of the passage softly. Her body was clinging to the stone wall, and she observed the slowly moving shadow from the corner of her eye. At the moment when the shadow's body was about to appear, she turned around suddenly, stretched out her hands with lightning speed, the group of things pressed the stone wall. It hurts. The mess screamed and spoke, and made an adult male voice, I will never steal alcohol again, don't hit me, I know I'm wrong. Ah, ah. Ruan Chu's movements are so handsome. How did Ruan Chu develop his skills? What has she been through in the past six months? The chief director is indeed a man who has made thrillers, and he was frightened. Ruan Chu smelled the strong odor of wine on the other side. She looked at the man in ragged clothes, hat on a crooked face, flushed face, and unshaven beard. She did not relax her vigilance, and even increased the strength of her hands. Continue to press him, who are you? I'm the man in charge of the wine cellar, the alcoholic said, sniffling, I'll never steal alcohol again, please let me go, please. Ruan Chu let go. The head maid came out of the passage with a candlestick, looked at the man in front of her, and stood behind Ruan Chu a little scared. Ruan Chu continued to say to the drunkard, let's get the wine we need for the banquet. The drunkard said, is it for the banquet? I'll help you pour it. He staggered to a large wooden barrel, took an empty bottle from the side, unplugged the cork, and turned on the switch of the barrel. The clear aroma of wine spread in the air, Ruan Chu couldn't help swallowing when he saw the drunkard, stared straight at the wine in the bottle, and continued to watch reluctantly when he handed it to her. Ruan Chu took the wine bottle from him and asked him casually, Are you always here and sleeping? The alcoholic continued to fill the bottle and replied, Yes. Ruan Chu continued to ask, When you eat, who will bring you food? The drunkard handed the wine to the head maid and replied, The wine is my meal, no one will bring me food. You lied. Ruan Chu's voice echoed in the wine cellar, and the barrage and the head maid were stunned at the same time. Ruan Chu pointed to the corner of the drunkard's mouth and said, You have oil stains here it can't be caused by wine, and there is a grain of rice on your collar, no one really gave it to you. Do you bring food? With Ruan Chu's questioning, the drunkard's expression became more and more fierce, the head maid stepped back again in fear, and pulled Ruan Chu's clothes, signaling Ruan Chu not to be with this people are tough. The basement fell silent. The audience also watched the alcoholic's expression very nervously, and were very afraid that he would hurt Ruan Chu and the head maid because Ruan Chu saw through him. But Ruan Chu still stared at the drunkard's eyes, she was confident to win the middle-aged man who was very weak in front of her. Perhaps it was because he remembered Ruan Chu's hand reaching out before, or maybe it was the pain in his body that calmed him down, or for some other reason, the alcoholic slowly put away his fierce look and changed back to it again. In the previous submissive look, he explained to Ruan Chu, you found this all out, well, I admit that it was indeed the old man who managed the flower house who brought me food. He begged Ruan Chu, don't tell him I'm drinking again, or he won't give me food. 
Ruan Chu neither nodded nor shook his head, pulling the head made away in the eyes of the drunkard. The nervous audience finally breathed a sigh of relief. Ruan Chu is so brave, my wife protects me. The chief director of the backstage touched his chin regretfully. This episode was originally a drawbridge effect arranged by him. He planned to let the male guests come to the hero to save the beauty, but Ruan Chu solved it like this. Following behind Ruan Chu, the headmaid who was pulled forward by Ruan Chu was in a complicated mood at this time. The way Ruan Chu protected her just now was really handsome, and her hands were so warm, she suddenly felt that Ruan Chu might not be the kind of person the big fans in the group said. How about she observe again? No, no, this one won't move. Ruan Chu let go of the head maid's hand when he walked out of the aisle, took the wine bottle in the other's hand, took it to the parlor, and placed it beside the dessert. She thought with satisfaction that the third side mission was also successfully completed, and she has not had any ambiguity with anyone until now, very safe. The author has something to say. After a full and busy afternoon, the dinner is finally ready, and the audience is looking forward to it. Shui Wu, who was sitting under the tree, read a book all afternoon in order to hide from his leisure time. After receiving a reminder from Ye Zingyu, he put away the book, stood up and walked back. The camera followed Shui Wu into the castle-like residence. The moment Shui Wu stepped into the residence, the head maid and head servant at the door led all the maids and servants to bend over to welcome him back. Shui Wu recognized Ruan Chu at a glance in the crowd, he glanced at the other party twice, and then walked over quickly. After he walked into the living room, the head maid and the head servant led everyone to get up. The housekeeper Ye Zingye followed closely behind Shui Wu and handed him the drinks and menu list prepared for tonight's banquet. After Shui Wu confirmed it, he put away the small book. The living room at this time was extremely luxuriously decorated. Wall lamps composed of several candles are hung on both sides of the wall, exuding warm yellow light, huge crystal chandeliers hang overhead, the lights cast fine shiny pieces on the wool carpet through crystal decoration, and the two potted flowers at the door are brightly colored, the colorful desserts and drinks on the other side of the table are well prepared, and you can see that the price is not cheap. On the other side of the table, a piano artist in a suit and bow tie is playing music lovingly adding a romantic atmosphere to the living room. The program group is really rich. And the medieval manor is full of Chinese people, this is the most dramatic place, okay? Bai Jin Yeo has changed into new clothes, this body looks better than the daytime. Ying Ying also changed into new clothes, it's a fishtail skirt. Is Ying Ying going to perform a show tonight? Look forward to. Bai Jin Yeo and Qi Ying Ying who came down from the stairs also saw Ruan Chu in the crowd. There is no way, Ruan Chu's appearance is too bright in the crowd, even wearing a maid outfit will not damage her beauty, and people's eyes are chasing her unconsciously. Bai Jin Yeo subconsciously stopped her gaze on the opponent's chest, then looked down at herself, and straightened her waist with some lack of confidence. Qi Ying Ying glanced at Ruan Chu contemptuously, then she didn't give her any more eyes, and walked directly to the pianist's side, ready to start tonight's performance. Qi Ying Ying specially chose an English song. The high-pitched part of this song is very professional. When she sang the chorus part, although everyone present could not hear the words she sang. What is it, but I probably knew that she was using the bell canto that only the big guys can sing, and I didn't realize it was harsh so they applauded and cheered for her. The fans of Qi Ying Ying in the barrage were very excited. Now Qi Ying Ying has become the center of the whole banquet. He exaggerated a few words to maintain the surface piece, but actually rolled his eyes inside. However, at the end of Qi Ying Ying's chorus, when the atmosphere of the scene had reached its climax, Ruan Chu suddenly frowned and heard the crystal chandelier above her head come out. There was a slight rustling sound, and a disturbing gale was also blowing outside the window, blowing the candles of the wall lamps on both sides, and they were about to go out. The next second, the crystal chandelier made a pop, and the light bulb completely went out. At the same time, 
the candles of the wall lamps on both sides were also blown out, and the entire living room was plunged into darkness. It all happened too suddenly, the pianist was still playing the music ecstatically, and Qi Ying Ying's soprano suddenly raised two degrees because of the sudden shock, and finally ended with a vibrato. Everyone present felt a pain in their ears, and some even forgot to scream. Fuck, 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 it's so scary, why did the lights suddenly go out? So dark. Heart, dirty, sudden, stop, director I hate you. Although I was frightened, but I really want to laugh now ha ha ha, Qi Ying Ying was so frightened that she did not go out of tune, what is professionalism, dog head, she even remembered to end the chorus, dog head, ha 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 ha, don't destroy the horror atmosphere. Look at the family, the program team turned on the night vision camera. In the dark, although the night vision camera can clearly capture people's bodies and movements, the faces of everyone in the lens are pale and their eyes are green and bright, and they look more scary. The program team should turn off the night vision camera, this looks even more terrifying for me. With the night vision camera turned off, we can't see what they are doing. Look at what Ruan Chu is doing. When the living room was plunged into darkness, because Qi Ying Ying's scream was too loud, it directly interrupted the screaming and casting of others, so now the whole living room is extremely quiet. After the darkness came, everyone subconsciously relied on the people next to them, hugged them tightly, sought a sense of security, and did not dare to run around for the time being, for fear of encountering strange things in the dark. There are only two people moving in the camera, one is Ruan Chu and the other is Qi Ying Ying. Ruan Chu, relying on his memory, touched the candlestick on the table behind him, and then found the match next to him. Qi Ying Ying stood in front of the piano, with no one reliable beside her, the only person who could be caught was the pianist who stopped playing. She moved back tentatively, but the fish tail skirt restrained the movement of her legs. Qi Ying Ying's body was tilted, and she pressed her hand down subconsciously. When she pressed it on the key, the piano immediately made a messy sound. Sound the sound of the piano was extremely loud and harsh in the quiet living room, instantly stimulating everyone's tense nerves, and a series of screams suddenly sounded in the living room, and everyone began to be like headless flies running around in the parlor. Ruan Chu touched the matchbox before everyone screamed. She took out the last match in it and was about to strike the match when the maid next to her suddenly screamed and pushed hard. Gave her a hand. Another maid rammed her again in panic and the match in Ruan Chu's hand fell to the ground. Ruan Chu. Barrage, ha 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 sorry, but this is really funny ha 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 Ruan Chu, I can't bring the pig teammates. At the beginning of the banquet, Shui Wu did not pay attention to Qi Ying Ying's performance, and his eyes drifted to Ruan Chu from time to time. After the living room fell into darkness, he thought it was a joke by the show crew, and the lights would turn on soon but after everyone was in chaos, Shui Wu frowned and realized that the show crew seemed to be playing for real. Shui Wu's eyesight has been very good since childhood, even far beyond ordinary people. He has been watching Ruan Chu's movements, and found that the other party seems to be trying to light the candlestick, but after failing, he walked towards Ruan Chu, wanting to help her find the matches that fell on the ground and end the chaos as soon as possible. He walked to Ruan Chu's side, Ruan Chu noticed a tall strange man standing next to him, and was about to give him an elbow when he heard a familiar voice ringing in his ear it's me. Ruan Chu immediately retracted his actions. She suspected that just because of Shui Wu's body, after being beaten by her, she might fall to the ground, and she couldn't afford the money. Before Ruan Chu could ask questions, Shui Wu automatically said his intention, I'll help you find a match. Ruan Chu was stunned for a moment, did you see it? Is your night vision so good? In the darkness, Ruan Chu couldn't see Shui Wu's face, but he could feel the heat exhaled by the other party in his ear, and Shui Wu looked at Ruan Chu's unexpected expression, and gently hummed aloud, inexplicably proud. The people in the living room were still running around like headless flies. Every time they bumped into other people, they let out a scream, 
which perfectly covered Shui Wu and Ruan Chiu. The conversation was in a low voice, and the barrage could not hear what the two of them were saying, so they scratched their ears and cheeks anxiously. What is something that my VIP members can't listen to, tell me? Always feel like they look familiar? After Shui Wu answered, he just squatted down on the carpet to look for a match, and then heard Ruan Chiu make a sudden realization from the top of his head, Oh, so you are not infected with the zombie virus, you are actually a high evil vampire. No wonder night vision is so good. Shui Wu squeezed the match he just found. Forget it, that's it. The author has something to say, Shui Wu, can't I be a person? <laughs>